Hello, a bit of a different angle today, but nonetheless, this will still work. I'm doing my bookshelf tour today. You're currently on my bookshelf, which I think is super exciting for everyone. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through my bookshelf. Standard information, it's the Billy bookshelf. No one is surprised. It's from Ikea, it's like 35 pounds, highly recommend it, very sturdy. Two, this is not the final version of my bookshelf. Third, there's not much organization to this. I do want to reorganize it. I don't have the time right now. And four, I have not read all of these books. And also, these are not all the books I own because I did move to a foreign country and I still have a ton of books back in Denmark. They're not all my books, but these are all the books that I have with me here in Scotland. Let's go. So this is currently what the bookshelf looks like. This is a pillow that doesn't need to be there. Let's start at the top. This is a place I don't go very much. I have two teddy bears from when I was a child that are just hanging out there. I have a, this plant which I haven't killed yet which I think is pretty impressive and then I have never have a bad day ever again by Max Wickram and Murray Partridge this is just like a fun novelty book that I got from my friend Howl and Other Poems by Allen Ginsberg Byways by Jack Helberg who just happens to be my flatmate Yaya Hassan by Yaya Hassan Yaya Hassan 2 by Yaya Hassan coming down to a shelf that I can actually see and use we'll start here The Picture of Dorian Ray Howland by Oscar Wilde and Elizabeth Garrett. Then I have my Oxford World Classics, Othello by William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare, Hamlet by William Shakespeare, King Lear by William Shakespeare, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, A Study in Scarlet by Arthur Conan Doyle, Late Victorian Gothic Tales, The Roaring Girl and Other City Comedies, Northing at Abbey, Lady Susan, The Watsons, and Sendition by Jane Austen. Next up we have some Penguin classics. I have Beowulf, a verse translation, translated by Michael Alexander, The Penguin Book of English English verse. Jean Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Then I have these two Arcturus classics. I have Moby Dick by Herman Melville and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Heart of Darkness and Other Stories by Joseph Conrad. Galatea by John Lilly. And I have my vintage ones by Red Spine Vintage Editions. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Thriller Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. One vintage classics edition for Virginia Woolf and it is Orlando by Virginia Woolf. I am looking to get the rest of these because I do love Virginia Woolf and I do love the design of them. Then I have this little jar of nuts. These are pecans and almonds. Then I have this candle that I can't light because my landlord won't let us have candles, but it's very nice. It's from the Vegan Bunny and it is a chai latte soy candle. Smells very good. Then we have this shelf which is a mix of modern classics and Norton editions. So let's start with the Norton editions. I have Utopia by Town of Moore. The classic fairy tales edited by Maria Tater and Paradise Lost by John Milton. Here in the back I have We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda and Ngozi Adichie. I have this wooden duck from I think it's called Edo and my mom gave this to me for Christmas last year and it's wonderful. I have this Athena statue which I bought in Athens as a keychain but the keychain fell off because it's a shitty touristy thing. I have another candle. This is a basil and bergamot one. It doesn't smell as good as I wanted it to. Then we get to modern classics or the like. Also just hard packs. So my Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. A Rooted by Naomi Novik. We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. Quicksand and Passing by Nella Larson. Persepolis by Marianne Satrapi. Trumpet by Jackie Kay. American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Muriel Spark. The Playboy of the Western World by J.M. Singh. Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Out of Africa by Karen Blexen or Isaac Dinesen. Lastly, on the shelf, we have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, which I'm currently reading. We move on to the next shelf. It's pretty empty. Over here, we have my nonfiction. Not a lot of it. I have Women Don't Know You Pretty by Florence Gibbon. No Logo by Naomi Klein. Men We Reaped by Jasmine Ward. The Motorcycle Diaries by Ernesto Che Guevara. And I have this little succulent in a very dirty pot. And over here, I have some random ones that just don't fit anywhere else. No One Is Too Small to Make a Difference by Greta Thunberg. The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Down here we have my series my favorites and my other favorites and just in general paperback. First I have the Raven Cycle series, The Raven Boys, Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King by Maggie Steve Otter. 
Then I have the first book in the Dreamer trilogy, Call Down the Hall by Maggie Stiefvater. Then I have The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. Then I have the 20th anniversary editions of the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, who is a turf, and I will be getting rid of these probably. Do not support J.K. Rowling. This has been a PSA. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In this little pile, we have larger paperbacks and hardbacks. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albatali. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Saints. Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Over here, we have some more paperbacks, but they're not in series. On the Comet by Angie Thomas. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Beloved by Toni Morrison. If Not Winter, Fragments of Sappho. Edited by Anne Carson. Color Purple by Alice Walker. A Doll's House by Henry Gibson. Ariel by Sylvia Plath. Aesop's Fables by Aesop. 1984 by George Orwell. Ariel, the Restored Edition by Sylvia Plath. And down here at the bottom, we have textbooks and some Shakespeare. So let's start with the textbooks. Practices of Looking, an Introduction to Visual Culture by Marita Sturkin and Lisa Cartwright. The Film Experience, an Introduction by Timothy Corrigan and Patricia White. The Study of Language by George Ewell. Thinking About Texts, an Introduction to English Studies by Chris Hopkins, the second edition. Story and Discourse, Narrative, Structure, and Fiction in Film by Seymour Chapman. Fundamentals of Ethics by Rush Schaefer Landau. Gender Trouble by Judith Butler. Over here, we have some post-it notes that don't really belong here. The Norton Shakespeare, edited by Stephen Greenblatt, the third edition. The Complete Works by William Shakespeare. All right. That is my bookshelf. I'm sorry for the shaky camera and like the not so great cut. These are all my books that I have with me right now. I'm excited to reorganize my bookshelf soon. I will make a video about that when I do it. I do want to organize them by author and the likes, but right now this is the way it looks and this is the way I need to be satisfied with it. Excited to fill this up with books as well. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.